Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be going out and doing some more duels as we wait for the story to continue. We have defeated some pretty powerful opponents. We've done some good work. There's only one Shadow Rider left, and we must find them. Oh, there you are, Dimitri. I've been wondering where you'd be. Alright, so I've been trying to duel Dimitri so I can get him registered, but... No one seems to want to register me anymore. I've dueled Crowler like 14 times and he just ignores me. He just he just doesn't care. Fonda, it's still fresh, so I don't blame her. We're still not, uh... Still not, uh... Get, we're still getting to know each other, so, you know. Not gonna register me immediately. And that one I understand. Alright, Dimitri, what are you gonna do? I hope you attack me so I can summon my freaking, uh... Yeah! So I can summon my Vampire Lord. Granted, I'm gonna have to take some damage, but I don't mind. In fact, I think I have a better idea. Oh yeah, I have a, a way better idea for next turn. This is gonna be funny. Uh, let's go ahead and go with Vampire Lord. Just so we get him out early. And one set card, two set cards. So one of them is the deadly one and the other one's not. I'm gonna have to prick the right one. And by that, I mean the left one. Damn it! Oh, that was bad. Alright, so I picked the really wrong one. Oh, but the day is going well. So, this is what my plan is. I see I could summon my boss monster, but I don't want to with the cards I have right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Giant Rat attack Reflect Bounder. I will take 1700 damage, I know. Still cheaper than if I had to attack with my other monster. Reflect Bounder, since he activated his effect, gets destroyed. I get to activate my effect because I died by battle. And then I can just summon something good, like, uh... Uh... I guess Swordswoman, yeah. Alright, boop. And Swordswoman destroys the token I created, which, that's on me. I made that mistake. I could have done a lot more damage this turn. And he had Sakuretsu armor the whole time. What a shame. Alright, so now we're patient. We have Swordswoman on the field to protect us. Everything's fine. Oh, God. Oh, just enough to hurt me. Luckily for me, he's going to have to hurt himself to do this. So I take... Uh, I mean, I, I lose my monster, and that's a big loss. But at the end of the day, everything's still going my way. I draw a card. Ooh, good card. I get my Vampire Lord back. And now I activate Book of Life. And with this card, I can bring back my Pyramid Turtle. Goodbye, Reflect Bounder. Hello, Pyramid Turtle. And then... If only I had more monsters. I don't want a card destruction, I'll tell you that much. As much as I want to summon my boss, it's just not the best move to do right now. The best move to do right now is to let my Pyramid Turtle die, so I can get two Vampire Lords out. Or even a Shadow Goal or something, but, you know, I think Vampire Lord's stronger. Alright, so Vampire Lord, come on out. There we go. And now we attack. That's good damage. Oh, and because I damaged you, I get to do something. No more traps. That's not the trap I wanted you to throw away. Let's try again. 2,000 damage. When I say no more traps, I mean this specific trap card I hate. Nope. Oh, you had three of those. Damn it. I'll have to get it next turn, even though I plan on winning next turn. Especially if I draw a monster. Double Ancient Gear Castle. An Ancient Gear Soldier would not be stronger than me still. But an Engineer definitely would be. Alright, star boy. Honestly, just enough. I'm going to summon him so I still get spirit experience. Even though summoning him is not what I wanted to do. Then I'm going to activate Zera Ritual. Starboy has just enough stars to make this work. So what I'm going to do now. Goodbye Starboy. And goodbye Pumpkin. And with both of those monsters gone, I can now summon my boss monster, Zera the Mant. No special summoning thing or nothing, but he still looks cool. So let's go ahead and get to work. It was a UFO turtle, how unlucky. 
And this guy is smart enough to run three of them, so yeah, he's gonna survive a little longer. No. I mean, it doesn't really matter who, because I think he still has one more, but... I mean, let's just hope. Alright, I say... You know what? Monster card. Ah, he threw away his golem. Can't special summon that either. Alright, cool. I hope he doesn't draw another golem, because the golem's the only thing that can beat me right now. The Ancient Gear Golem. Yeah. That is the only card he has that can beat me. And he has the means of summoning it, so that's a problem. But he threw it away, so we should be fine. Alright, what kind of card can I top deck? Giant Rat, that'll do. I summon the rat that is giant. It doesn't matter. The duel's over. I don't think you have enough defense points to handle this. Zara, go ahead. Alright, Zara destroyed the de defense monster. And now my, well, my vampires will win the duel. You know what, Dimitri? This was a fun duel. I gotta admit, this was fun. Mechanical Chaser, good card. It's gone now. Anything else? Anything else you want to throw away? Oh, your life? Okay, good. We did good. We made him suffer, and I feel proud. 130 experience, same as Crowler. 13 spirit experience, pretty good. Eh, some okay money. My deck is so powerful, but I still can't win. He's right, though. That deck is good. I'm surprised he couldn't win. Alright, you. I know it's still you. Come on. Let's uh, let's keep this going and let's see if you can defeat me. This is like the only time I ever found Dimitri, so I'm going to take advantage of it right now and duel him a bunch. Alright, so Dimitri, what do you got? I got an interesting hand. A very good hand, actually. I summon Manju of the 10,000 hands. And thanks to this card, I can get my uh, ritual spell. And I already have my ritual monster, so that's GG. I won. Unless he somehow summons the Ancient Gear Golem first turn, this is it. And even so, I have Rush Recklessly. I could z summon Zera first turn, but I don't want to. Alright, that's good enough. I might need my monster, so I'm not going to let him destroy it. There we go. Plus, I don't want him having options. Very good. Vampire Lord, what a great card. Let's do this. I'm going to... I'm going to just straight up summon the Vampire Lord. Normally, I would go for maximum damage with Swordsmaster, or Swordswoman, but... I think Vampire Lord will do fine by himself. There we go. And then we just go ahead and battle. That, and even if he had Sakura to armor or something, Vampire Lord would just come back anyway. Let's get rid of those. Nah, yeah, he's getting rid of those. I want him to get rid of his freaking Sakura to armor and Mirror Force and all that crap. If he has it. Okay, so Charity, what is he going to throw away? He threw away a Golem. He threw away an Ancient Gear Golem when he had Castle in his hand. That's very upsetting. And that's a problem. That's a problem. Alright, so we are now in a problem scenario. He had seven completed. That is the strongest mechanical chaser I've ever seen. And there is no longer a problem because I'm going to go with my boss monster. I activate the Sarah Ritual. I've never summoned this guy before and now I'm summoning him twice in one episode. So I get rid of both my cards and I summon my boss, Zara the Mance, who is stronger than Mechanical Chaser. Whew. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God I had my boss. Hell, my boss monster is stronger than Ancient Gear Golem. What are you going to do now, Dimitri? Ooh, that was a good move. That was a strangely good move. You know what? We're not dealing with this. 
get this piece of crap spell out of here. It's a problem. It opens up an option for him, and I don't like that. And then I take 3,300 damage. But at the end of the day, it's he's, he's the one losing. I can't let him have a monster on the field. He'll just find other things to do with it. Mm, new monster. I don't like it. Could be Blast Spear. Gotta be careful. Amazon Archer doesn't care about Blast Spear, though, so we're good. Oh, no, we're fine. Don't use your effect just yet. You, we might use it, but not yet. Nope, just a Robotic Knight. Had to play it safe, though. Couldn't uh, risk my Zera. Zera is everything to me. In fact, he's the only reason I still have a chance in this duel. That mechanical chaser with 3,050 attacks should have stopped us from winning. Okay. I hope my Amazon Archer is not my only monster. Okay. You know what? Let's try to get a better monster. He had Ancient Gear Golem in his hand. I'm so glad I did that. So I think that's two Ancient Gear Golems gone. Mm, I keep taking damage. And I'm not doing damage back. I don't like that. I could have just attacked with Archer twice now and won the duel, but... Ah, oh, damn it. I'm too scared of Blast Sphere. Alright, what is he going to do now? Yeah, well, you already lost your Golem. Yeah, well, you're about to lose the duel now. If you're doing what I think you're doing, you're about to lose the duel. And now you only have 1,050 life points left. I could win by my effect. I could win by attacking. I think I'll win by my effect. I summon Spirit Reaper. Yes, I activate Amazon Archer. I decide to tribute you and himself. Or herself, sorry. And we do 1,200 damage. Dimitri has been defeated yet again. That was a little more of a complicated one, but we got a victory in the end, so I don't care. Still need like 3,000 experience. That's that's rough. We're getting a lot of experience from duels, but it's not that much. The more I duel, the more I believe in my... Yeah, we got Dimitri. Okay, that's a good night then. Oh, look, Alexis is back. Good for her. <laughs> it's like, let's go. No, never mind. I, I need to take a nap. I'm tired after all that stuff with Dimitri. Who am I? Hey there, Cooper. I've decided to stop copying other people's decks and build my own. And since we're registered, why don't you find out what I'm all about? Not gonna lie, I don't think he ever stops copying people's decks in this game. I think what he just said was a lie. Like, if you go duel him again, he's still using, like, Ancient Gear deck or maybe even Yugi's deck. Which I don't know how he gets Yugi's deck back, but at some point in this game, he does. Alright, time to go to school. Ooh, it's a Monday. I gotta do testing. That's gonna be annoying. Yep, alright. Let's see if I can finally pass a test. What happens when Skull Serving gather? Yeah, this is... This is, uh... That, uh that, what? How was I supposed to know? Which card can you use to destroy... Oh, wait. You destroy and battle using Tsukiyomi only. Probably Gadget Soldier, I don't know. Green Gadget? Which of the following monsters has the highest attack? This one had Behemoth, 15. How many times can Cyber Twin Dragon attack in a single battle phase? Cyber Twin Dragon can attack two times. What is the dye color of Skull Dye? Uh, probably black. Shit. It's red and blue, isn't it? Damn it. What cost must you pay to act of a excavation of Megastone? Or Mage Stone. Probably just two cards. Alright, cool. What effect activates when Grandma the Rock Marker is tribute summoned? Uh... Probably this one? Alright, good. I don't really use the rock one very often, so yeah. 
When Apprentice Magician is destroyed in battle, which monster can you set? Dude, how the f should I know? You. It was Time Wizard? Okay. I honestly did not know that one. If you send Dandelion to the graveyard, what token is special summoned? Uh, the fluffy tokens. If you use card destruction to discard your hand, how many cards can you draw from your deck? The number of cards discarded, the number of cards in your graveyard. Wait. Yeah, the number of cards you discarded. Not counting uh, card destruction since it wasn't discarded. Oh, I failed this test for sure. Yeah, that's a fail. I got a 6 out of 10. That's my first real fail. Eh, it's fine. I'm tired. <laughs> it's okay. I can't pass them all. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, where can we go today? I want to get some levels, so I need to find some opponents that are powerful. That's not a powerful one. Maybe Fonda. Let's go see if Fonda's around. She's got 118 experience. I'm starting to get worried that nobody was around. Oh, they're like right next to each other? Alright, let's go right here. Yep, let's do this. So, Fonda, you're gonna you're gonna have to lose this duel because I need money for cards that I do plan on putting in my deck if I get the cards I'm looking for. All right, start the duel. I got Spirit Reaper. That's pretty good. In fact, it's good enough. I'll set Spirit Reaper. And because she has a spell card I hate, I'm gonna set this card. That spell absorption always ends up being a little too good. Keeps her alive for, for like forever. Okay, yeah, that's not what I was expecting. No, this is this is fine. I don't need to do anything. Spirit Reaper's gonna be like, no, 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 you can't kill me. Two face downs, neither of them being used. One's probably Wabaku. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go with a basic giant rat. Ah, okay. Well, then I guess we'll sit here and we'll wait then. Since that's what she wants to do. Alright, let's just sit here and wait. And enjoy your little life points. Well, I can't stop that. And now my monster's destroyed. Oh, it doesn't count as destroyed? I thought it would be destroyed. Eh, go right ahead. You did good. And you're just stray lambing for no reason. I don't even know if you have tribute monsters. You're just trying to stall me, aren't you? I guess it does work with your effect. Never mind. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use Giant Rat. But this time it's going to work. Alright, got 200 damage on her. And then we're going to end our turn and hope that she makes a mistake somehow. Alright. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. That's Wabaku probably. Oh, okay. That's good to get rid of too. It's also a problematic card. I don't think I've lost any monsters, so I can't really use that. Let's just go for our swords, master. Our swords, woman. Who cares? And then we're gonna go ahead and do some damage. Oh yeah, we can't do damage. Damn it. I need Spear Dragon, but he's in my blue, all blue deck. Alright, let's just destroy him, I guess. Now let's see what she does. What are you gonna do to us, Fonda? Just defend yourself? Okay. I think the duel is going to be in my uh, in my uh, victory then. All I'm going to do is summon you. And then I'm going to set this card in case she gets a little ballsy. And then we're going to destroy this monster. Okay, good. It was just a water pond. 
And then you're gonna get rid of the card in her hand in case it's like Haribo or something. Finally doing some damage to her. Boop. It was soul release. Interesting. But I had like no cards in my graveyard, so she never wanted to use it. And 1500 from Swordswoman. Alright, very good. I will probably go for uh, Vampire Lord next turn. Nah. Nah. That could be Nimble Momonga, and I don't want that. So go back to the hand. Yeah, you, you get out of here. Alright, now we're going to summon you. I get him rid of the Spirit Reaper. Then we're going to summon the Spirit Reaper. So I can get rid of that card in her hand, since we know it's a monster. And you're not allowed to use Fire Princess. Alright, it's gone. And then we're going to start attacking and see if we can win this turn. Alright, I think we do win this turn, so that's kind of cool. Let me just get rid of that card in her hand first. Alright, it was Hain Hain! That would have been annoying! That kind of card actually does work on my Vampire Lord, since it doesn't kill him. Alright, 2700 damage. And now I'm gonna make you throw away a monster. Ah, shit! Haha! <laughs> Wrong person to do that to. And I'm starting to realize that even with Rush Recklessly, it wasn't enough. I thought Rush Recklessly would be enough. Alright, 500 life points left. What can she do with a measly 500 life points and no hand? Okay, sorry, 700 life points and no hand. Okay, so she gave up. That's good. Well, she didn't give up, she lost. She just straight up lost. Vampire Lord, you can do the honors. And Fonda has been defeated. Sorry, Fonda. You did you did your best. 118, heck yeah. Now well, let's get that money. Tribute summon bonus. That's all I did. I can understand why you're accepted at dual camp. Damn it, register me. Alright, let's go over here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to the store. Maybe not. It looks kind of dark. I'm going to try, though. Hey, just in time. Alright, let's go buy some cards. Let's see. Damn, it's out. Alright, I'll buy one of you, and... One of you, and one of you. That should be fine. Rui Kishin, Insect Barrier, Horn Imp, Swamp Battle Guard, Graceful Charity! <laughs> That's a card I've been waiting for. Alright, Fiend Kraken, Umi, Elf's Light, Petite Moth, Black Luster Soldier. I can't believe I got another one. Okay, yada yada. Ojama Trio is pretty good. I like Rod of Mind's Eye. Ooh, Metal Reflex Line. That's a good one. Alright, we got some good cards today. Grace of Charity being the best by far. But good cards nonetheless. Everybody, that is going to be it. I really appreciate you all watching this episode. Next time, we're going to hope that the story decides to continue. I might have to level up to make it to continue. I don't know. But we'll do what we got to do. See you all then.